Hey, hi there, you guys, Pisces. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is that free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Pisces, I really want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments and those donations, thank you so very much. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Here's your card, Pisces, number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Hanged Man. This card is ruled by Neptune, and this can bring in some watery confusion due to Neptune. This is suspension, sacrifice. It can even be a reversal. It's a new perspective with suspension and attachment. This can be surrendering to what is. It's a self-surrender that leads to a higher wisdom that's a nimbus around the man's head. It's like Eureka moment, a light bulb moment. It's seeing things differently than others and looking from all different angles. It's waiting and working on yourself before you can actually do it or make up your mind. And this does represent a person who will not be moved until they're good and ready. It's clinging to something unfulfilling. You may need to let go and move on. This is a unique point of view and a sacrifice for a greater good. This is a voluntary giving up of something in order to get something of a greater value. It's new insight, awareness, and enlightenment. You could be incubating a great realization or releasing a mindset that's no longer useful. These are new and old beliefs that are put to the test. And it's examining your own beliefs and you should be willing to lose something lesser in order to fulfill a greater goal. You could be letting go of fears or apprehensiveness as they do not serve you. Something that holds you up, and you put yourself in this position, it's uncomfortable, but you know it's for your own good, and you're going to be taking care of your problems first. And this is a pause in life. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Pisces. You may or may not be aware of this. Number seven of the major arcana, the chariot. This can be a cancer. Cancer could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This has to do with control, inner control, and a clear sense of purpose. It's putting commitment to the test. It's control in, mo in momentum with willpower and determination. It's overcoming obstacles. It's an inner duality that needs to be conquered, yet in this position there's some restriction. It's a challenge. It's bringing in tension. There may be a lack of will to control there might be stagnation, a dispute, a defeat. This can represent a quarrel with someone or being unable to harness energy to move forward. You could be stalled by a lack of support or have some low drive. These could also be changes in transitions that happen internally at a rapid rate. It could be that things are moving so fast, you may feel out of control or struggle to keep your head above water. It can also be being stressed out by pressure. So be clear about your direction in life and tune inside of yourself to control this inner transition. It could be someone overly aggressive or it could be a lack of willpower. Someone may need to gather their courage and come to terms 
without being in control because of the lack of control. Someone may need to tighten some loose ends. Maybe they feel some fear of defeat or failure or being out of control. The hanged man with the chariot is feeling like you have little control over your life. It's an inner transition, and it's a victory by biding your time. It's a settling down. It's a release and direction. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of, Pisces. It can also be your attitude. The Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. These are slow energies, someone dedicated to their duty. They have a goal, and they're focused on getting there and getting things done. They're on a mission, and they're doing their duty. This can also be good news, a communication. This knight is a peaceful, gentle fellow, and they have infinite patience and tolerance, and they reach their goals no matter how long it takes, because they never give up. They make good use of their time by steadily working on things, and then they develop experience and self-possession. This is someone that has the capabilities that they need to solve problems, and they're unhurried, practical, productive, purposeful. They're reliable and they're dedicated to duty, and they can be stubborn. This is a midway point, and it's taking initiative and looking to the future, and yet they still are slow to react. The hanged man with the knight of pentacles can be a work to delayed or suspended. It's slow and steady that wins the race. It's pause and patience. And it's something that you are counting on that brings frustration instead due to this delay or suspension. Your fourth card. It's the beginning. It's the future. The outcome. The results. Here's your prediction, Pisces. The Eight of Wands. Fire energy. This is Mercury in Sagittarius. This is a card of fast movement, just like the chariot. It's action, a rapid communication, the end of delay, and positive things are going to unfold. It may surprise you. These can be once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, a sudden burst of energy, and it does carry a particular risk, so do not act cocky about it or you could lose it. This is being in motion and things already set into motion, and it's a quick turn of events, renewed activity, messages, moving more rapidly towards a goal. It's being and staying energetically in the flow, and the need to be up and doing things, activities, new beginnings. This is the end of a period of delay or stagnation, and it's time for action to begin. The Hanged Man with the Eight of Wands. This is this limbo ends in a flurry of activity. This can be a new perspective that gets things going and moving again. This is a sacrifice of something frustrating. It can even be someone giving up on love or still hanging in there. The Hanged Man with the Eight of Pentacles is... No, wait, I have to read the Eight of Pentacles first. Here you are. It's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is a sun in Virgo. This is working, steadily working, repairing, working on practical things in your environment. And it's working and learning more as you work on this trade or profession. It's getting closer to your goal and being absorbed, concentrating, not feeling anything, not feeling anything except what you're focused on, what you're working on. 
This is a big payout if you finish, and things are evolving nicely, and you're finding satisfaction in what you're working on. It's being disciplined and skillful and methodical. This can be adding new skills. It's sureness of purpose. The hanged man with the eight of wands, I mean with the eight of pentacles, is having no fear and not being afraid to pursue your goals. And now is the best time to make the most of it. And the timing is right to take up the challenge. It can represent research and inventions. The chariot with the knight of pentacles is keeping on going because success is on the way. The chariot with the eight of wands is a travel that is reinforced with this combination. It is a quick leap forward, a very positive, exciting outcome with lots of energy. Someone could be delivering something, you to someone or someone to you. It can also represent public transport, even life on the road. The chariot with the eight of pentacles is working on your control and focus. Someone else may be learning to drive. The knight of pentacles with the eight of wands is more about the doing than the communication. It's getting it done no matter how long it takes. It can be a communication that was planned and well thought out. It can be letters. The knight of pentacles with the eight of pentacles is hard work, it's concentration and dedication to the task. It can be apprenticeship and being absorbed in your career. The Eight of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles is this combination that's telling us that you're on absolutely the right path. These can be obstacles that are people who will, who will not leave you alone to follow your own advices. It's learning and knowledge and working with new technology. Two eights in a reading represent new knowledge. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 32, Here and Now. Card number 32, Here and Now, Pisces. Being fully present in the moment and living one day at a time. Everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. Here's the relationship message. It's easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship that you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone, and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach. Yesterday cannot return. The now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Goosebumps, you guys. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy of love in the here and now. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.